Guys, we're in Wellington right now. We're on our way to the airport. So, thank you guys for 111 subscribers. And we'll see you down in Dunedin. Make sure you guys subscribe and like guys, as well. we're at the airport now. There's one from Queenstown over there. And this one's here. That plane over there. That might be our plane. Hmm. It's like 18 degrees right now. It's really hot. Okay guys, we'll see you down in Dunedin so soon. Make sure you guys like, subscribe and comment. And I'll show you when we get down to Dunedin. Okay, so we'll see you when we have to take off. Okay, three, two. Okay, so we're now on the sitting down. Just reflect the tape.
What's up guys, we are in Dunedin right now, and we are at the train station. So this is part, this is going to be part of the video that I will be doing. And it's quite interesting down here, I'll show you some videos afterwards. To make sure you guys subscribe, like and comment, we'll be going to a bunch of areas. And I'll get to fly a plane on Monday, hopefully, if it's not cancelled again by the wind that's really windy down here. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you the train station. They're kind of renovating it at the moment, but it still doesn't really matter. Okay. Some of the inside of the train station. As I say, there's a lot of old designs down here. It's like really nice down here. I'm trying to take too much of the information. Here's some of the inside of the train station. It's like really old. That's what the old train station has been. The train station. Oh. As you can see, they're doing some construction. As you can see, they are renovating it. It looks better with that, eh? Still renovating it there. Hmm. It's not bad. So I showed you, just showed you the inside of the station a little bit. And there's a sports museum up there, it doesn't look interesting. And it's a little bit of a Look at this train coming up here. It's so... This is an engine. Look at this engine, it's so big. God, it's so old as well. 1274. They used this thing. Look at the size of this thing at the back. So we're going to that building now, over the back, over there. These trains, yeah, new number plates in. Look at this blue train in the background. It is so, yeah. So we're going to there. We've got buildings there. We'll go to the steepest street in the world soon. Look at that, yeah. look at this building and the church and stuff. Jeez, look at these bikes, holy cow. This is what it looked in 1872. The old soda machines, so interesting. That was the old soda pop factory. Very old train called Josephine. All we have to walk up. All these so buildings are really old. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Easter Day today, and I'm still in my pajamas. So far, we've had a good stay down to Dunedin. We're gonna go in on an e bike ride today. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I can take it that long with you with me, but uh, I'll try to get the best shots that I can. And yes, here we are on the e-bikes. I said I would try and get some footage. So we're biking on the Otago Peninsula right now. A halfway at the Otago Peninsula. Look at this view. It's so nice. Look at this the view. This is the harbour out here. So far, so far. Yeah. Yeah. over there. I think, I think you guys are going well so far. Yeah. Slowly. We're just about at MacAndrew Bay. Once I pass the sign, we will be. I wish you guys can see the whole bike ride, but you can't. So this is the bay area. And yeah, so. 
Okay, so I've just passed St. McAndrews Bay. There, we're on this area now. I try not to get too much more footage for you guys. So this is day three of two weeks. So far it's going really well. Really, it's a bit misty so far. Just about there. My battery's gone flat, so I have to do it by manually by hand. How can I go put you down? Because I'm on. Okay, guys, we've just about made it. We're in, we're in Portobello now. Oh god, where's the bike? 15 k's back. Well, here we go, guys. That's the Needon over there. That's Force of Bar Stadium. Got this over here. I just have to do it by hand. Okay, that's it. See ya. What's up, guys? We're on Baldwin Street right now, the steepest street in the world. And we're about to walk up it. <laughs> Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. So, let's start. <laughs> that's the bottom of Baldwin Street. That is the top. <laughs> God. It's already getting steeper. <laughs> Oh goodness me! Let's go. It was starting to begin. The gradient keeps going. This is Baldwin Street, guys. <laughs> On the way, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm just gonna walk on the road. They. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, look how steep it is already. <laughs> I don't think people notice this is the. <laughs> This is like a workout. It's easy on the <laughs> is it? I like the challenge. <laughs> oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh that is fast. Oh man. Oh god. <laughs> this is a view. Will ya? Oh, doubt it. Here we go, guys. <laughs> this is. Get out. Doubt it. Oh, this is a one big view from up here. This is definitely the steepest street, man. Whew. So we're just about at the top. Gone that far already. Me? Yeah. yeah, okay. So we've got this mural thing in front of here. Just, just, oh, just hold up. <laughs> so we're at the top, guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And then there's the street there. <laughs> Okay guys, we're now about to go down Baldwin Street. <laughs> right there now. Now we're about to go down. 
old one straight. Steep is straight. I'm gonna walk down this. <laughs> Hiking it. So now going down it. Oh, okay, we're starting at this way. We're up there. Now we're about to go down this. Look at this view. It's diffless. Let's go from the bottom. Yeah, okay. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and like this video, please. This is probably the best video that we're going to do. Okay guys, we're just about down it now. We've walked up. This is steep, man. We're just about, just about down get to that last gradient concrete so we're all the way up there now we're just about down the bottom our cars are there <laughs> so we're just about down so just come get to the bottom please subscribe so I'll be flying a plane tomorrow hopefully So just about at the bottom, the view is spectacular from the top. So Baldwin Street. This will be the first ever footage of me from Baldwin Street. This is one of the activities. Okay guys, we've just finished the concrete. <laughs> so we started at the t we went all the way from here and all the way up. It may not seem steep on camera, it may not seem steep on camera, but it is steep, man. Always doing steep. Like and comment. comment down below if you guys have ever been to Baldwin Street. The bottom. Where we started. And that's the top. <laughs> All the way up there. Okay guys, we're at the tide ET mouth and it's so nice out here so far. I've just done we've just done a walk. Hopefully the sun's not annoying you too much. It's like right behind my head. I'll just show you some of the views out here, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, we're at Lanage Castle right now. Like this. Lanage Castle. That's quite impressive. This is an old fashioned bathroom, it's not. There's one more room here as well. So now we're going up to the top of the top. Look at these stairs. These stairs are skinny, man. Oh, this is actually very. This is oh, so old. Gee, look at how far we're going now. Just about there. This is a good view. <laughs> so it won't look good as good. So this is the top of the castle. Now look at that view. Okay, let me tell No. <laughs> That's such a nice view. 
Okay, so guys, now we're now leaving Larnach Castle. Larnach Castle was so good. So, this is on Monday the 18th. The plane this morning. Been here, we've done the track. The track. Been around there. Hey, this is all built separately. I've got some footage. I've got some footage of inside the castle. I'll show you some parts of it. There might be some that I'm not allowed to show. But yeah, okay. So leave it now. The garden. The garden is spectacular. Yeah, see you at Lineage Castle. See you next time. Well, today, guys, we're in still in Dunedin, and we're going to the museum, Otago Museum, and we're going to finish off the other half of the Settlers Museum today. And at the moment, I'm walking down High Street. This street is actually quite impressive. Hope you guys can see me. So I'm just going to turn this. So we're walking down High Street now. Here's the top. Bottom, and I'm just about at the bottom. There's, uh, there's actually a casino here as well, so um, which is quite good as well. There's not many cars out in town today. I'm just don't get a sore leg. What's up guys, it's me Josh here again. It is my birthday today and I'm turning 16. We're at time zone right now and I've used all my uh, cards up already. So um, I'm just going to show you how many tickets I have and yeah. So we're not going to, we went to a Japanese restaurant before this. We came here and Okay guys, here's my time zone card, and I've got two of these now. So let's go to the machine and we'll check how much is on there. Well guys, here's some of the games you can play. Well guys, I have 1,457 tickets on there. And yeah. Uh, yep, so we're at time zone, it's going to happen so fast, we'll see ya. What's up guys, it's me Josh again, this is our last day in Dunedin now, after this we're going down to the Catlins, and then we're going down to Invercargill, and then we're going to Bluff, and then we're going back to Levin, okay, so I'll see when we get down to the Catlins, I'll show you some footage on the way. Okay guys, we're at Kaka Point now. Heading over to Nugget Nugget Lighthouse somewhere. So, uh, so we're gonna be going over there soon in another ten minutes time somewhere. I'll see you when we get over and we get to the lighthouse. Okay guys, we're going over to that lighthouse over there. We just saw some seals. See you when we turn to the lighthouse, okay? Let's go. Jeez, look at this steep wall. Oh, 
Nugget Point Lighthouse. <laughs> So we're at um, Nugget Point Lighthouse right now. It's quite a spectacular view from up here. Lots of plants. This place attracts fur seals. Okay. So see ya. Okay, now we're heading down the hill. Where that's supposed to be. Look at that view. Seriously, this is the lighthouse up there. Nugget Point. It's time to get windy up here. Holy! Jeez! We didn't see that before, it didn't look like that. So we're at the... We're at the Pudico Nui Falls. <laughs> Guys, we're at Cathedral Caves. Do some parkour. About to get inside the cave. This is impressive. We're inside the cave. This is impressive. And it's like just about out. So you're telling me the water goes all the way in here? We have to pay for this. <laughs> Jeez, Mitch. How far does this go? Turn my flash on. So I can see where we're going. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, there's another exit. It's a cave, it's nice. Oh, it smells like seaweed in here. Probably, oh, it actually does stink. Jeez. Oh, no, I'm not going any further. Hell no. Why does that look like a snake? It looks like a snake. Again. Possible that's oh, it's green stone. Is it? It's green stone. Oh. stone. Yeah, not all over the place. It but stinks. There. Yeah, I don't know why we came over here for. Guy. Right How far? I'll get past all the stinky uh, seaweed. It might be creepy in here. Come on, Oscar. I found some bugs. Look, right here. Found some bugs. Can you go up there? Yeah, you can just stand up. Really? Yeah. Just watch your head. You don't want the rocks to fall. 
Yeah. Alright, don't worry, that'll be fine. You sure? Oh god, you can even stand up in this room. Oh god, you wouldn't want to live in here. Jeez. So it's been found with rocks. There's water in here. You can tell that water was in here. Seen the moisture on the walls? Must go this. These are in a small cave. Oh. What's right in there? There's little tiny little creatures. At least there's two flashlights in here. Jeez. That's some green stone. Looking at the ground, I'm trying to see. Look at this white thing. It's trying to draw here, mate. It's a white thing. It's like a. It's 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 a. It's
an era that was once was a forest. So it's petrified now. So there's a tree that's been fossilized. So there is a You can see, you can see, you can see all the logs. The log there, another one there. You got a tree here. But you can see there was once a forest. There's another log there, another log there. There's a tree stump. So we There's another stump that's been petrified. Just leave it there. Another stump. So there might have been some rocks and stuff. There has to be a half snap stump or an area here. Goes for miles as it was once they forest. You can see all the. You can see that's just another stump. See all these things coming out of the ground. Some over there, some over there. This whole landscape here it was washed. It was washed and swept away by the waters. There's bits of logs here and there. The forest did remain. You can see there's a log there. That thing. Where's my finger? That there is a log or a tree. You can see half the things over there. Yeah. That's a and then there is a tree stump. Another tree stump. Another one. You can even see this one. So there was a bit of a tree in it. There's like another log. So that's a log there. Another log. That's a log. That must have been part of a tree. There's a tree there. It's all the way to here. I'm standing on the area that used to be. Oh, look, there's even a remains. -er. There's even a remainder of a log. Of a tree, should I say. A remainder of a log. And there's another one, and there's a few more. So all of this would have been all, all of this would have all been mud and dirt which be here. Oh. And grass. Instead now it's been altered. There's even a tree there. Tree. Full thing. Been cut off by the looks of it. Okay. Get one last photo, one last video. Hmm. See, 
try and spot the old trees and logs. Guys, look at this little canal here. This must have been where an earthquake happened yet. It's just split it in half. You can still see the changes in the thing. Well, the tide's coming in now. It's about to be covered up again by the, the water. So we're just walking out on the track. Focus. We were over there where that sign was. What's up guys, that's me again. Well guys, we're coming up to the smallest lighthouse. Smallest lighthouse in New Zealand. This here is the smallest lighthouse in New Zealand. It is tiny. It's like this place gets battered by the gets battered by the waves. It's like they're built, it's booted on a rock. You see that ship over there, it's gone out really quickly. Getting sprayed over me. In the cargo in building Don't get too many people in it guys last time at Dunedin airport Yeah. Yeah. 
I've never actually ever seen a plane come in before. There's our plane. <laughs>